Hey, this is Bradley Bush. Today we're going to talk about a classic problem from algebra, which is the long division of polynomials. They generally, they can give us a this problem in a way that's not, doesn't look like really it's a long division problem. For example, x squared minus 4x minus 10 divided by x minus 2. When you look at that, it doesn't really look like a long division problem. But when we try to factor the numerator, we can't fact the numerator and when we look at the fact that the highest exponent in the top is bigger than the highest exponent in the bottom we think yeah we can we can use long division of polynomials so we rewrite it as a long division problem by taking the denominator and putting it out in front and taking the numerator and putting it down here underneath the division symbol. So you don't necessarily have to have these green division symbol, division dividers here that I have. I just put them there because they are actually helpful for me to keep my terms straight. So here we go. We want x to become an x squared. So what we have to do to x is we have to multiply it by x. So we put x up here in the x column and we multiply it by x minus two, which is the term in the denominator. And that gives us x squared minus two x. We plug that in underneath the x squared minus four x we change the sign and we add. I usually circle the sign once I've changed it so I know that I've changed it. We get zero here, negative two, and pull down negative 10, our next term. So now what we want is we want x to become, this by the way is negative two x. We want x to become uh, negative 2x. So we need to multiply it by negative 2. So we'll put a negative 2 up here in the constant column. Negative 2 times the x minus 2 gives us negative 2x plus 4, which goes there. Underneath the negative 2x minus 10, we change the sign and we, which gives us a zero here and a negative 14 here. We know we can stop when the highest exponent at the current step is one less than the highest exponent in the denominator. So notice the highest exponent in the denominator is a one. The first step, our highest exponent was a two. Our next step, our highest exponent was a one. So now, our, at our current step, our highest exponent is actually zero. X to the zero is just the same thing as one. So this right here just equals one and it goes away. But we can see that the, highest, that the exponent is actually zero. Zero is less than one so we can stop. We're done. This is the remainder. So we can write out our solution then. Um, we have this. So let's rewrite the whole thing. x squared minus 4x minus 10 divided by x minus 2 is x minus 2 minus 14 and then we since we have a remainder we always put the remainder over whatever is whatever the divisor is so negative 14 over x minus 2 and this is our answer